So what are the five mistakes that a lot of young artists, or just artists in general, make uh, at the beginning of their career? And basically, I'm speaking from experience because I've done some of this, this stuff as well. And we're just going to be talking about that today. But I also want to make sure I give you guys some great visuals. This is basically a mural uh, I've finished up at Spray KC in Kansas City, Missouri. Amazing uh, project out there that's happening. Uh, basically this week and I wanted to just make sure I give you guys sort of like some great visuals as we sort of just discuss some of the five mistakes and then make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you get notified whenever I do videos like this so let's get started so the first mistake that I think a lot of artists make is not having a clear goal or vision for what they want to do in their career or life or just like with their work so when you have a clear vision or goal there's a clear pathway that you need to take to get to where you want to be and that helps you out when it comes to making those decisions so decisions that sort of tell you whether to go to school or not to get another degree or to do a residency or you know who to talk to or even you know whether you need to move or not because if you're an actor you know the best places to go is LA or New York but if you're a theater actor definitely New York and every creative arts has sort of like these different paths that you can take so you have to figure out what is your end goal what do you want to do and figure out okay this is what I want to do and these are the decisions I need to make because it becomes a lot easier to figure out how to get to where you want to be when you know where you want to be because you're making those decisions that other artists have made and you're sort of making it easy on yourself so that you're not aimlessly you know making decisions that don't help you at all so, you know what type of clients you need to take what type of work you need to take with where do you need to move like I said whether you go to school or not whether you do this residency or not so having a clear goal and vision will help you out when it comes to figuring out how to get to where you want to be the next mistake I think a lot of artists make is not being consistent and being consistent is truly important. It is a sort of marathon. It's not like this overnight sensation thing that happens or you know, you're gonna get really big and people are gonna know your work and love your work. It takes a long time to really get good at what you do and figure out your style and your voice. So when you're consistent, it's just a lot easier to figure out you know, who you are and what you want to do and how to get there so consistency is truly important I know as creative we have like creative ADD to where we just want to sort of get into the next thing or you know sometimes when things don't work out we just abandon it but don't do that stick to it be consistent make sure that you're sort of following through on the decisions that you make on Instagram I made a series called art tip Tuesday and I've been going strong every Tuesday never miss to Tuesday for about six years from you know just being consistent I built a community of people that really want to sort of learn what I've been sort of you know taking in for the past you know six seven years and basically because I'm consistent I'm able to build that community and support so whatever you do make sure that you are consistent and don't give up on any of the decisions that you make so the next thing that I think a lot of artists sort of make a mistake in their career is worrying about what other people think. And this is mainly because of social media and the digital age. And I'm not talking about sort of honest critiques by your peers and galleries and professors, things like that. I'm really just talking about when you're sort of putting work up and you're sort of getting influenced by the likes or you're getting influenced by what's popular or what gets the reaction. A lot of times that can really influence, you know, the work that you do and basically you start to go down this rabbit hole of not doing the work that you want to do and falling into the trap of making decisions in your studio practice when you're sort of creating work um, that are based on engagements and likes and you know what will this do if I put it out there on this platform so being comfortable with not worrying about what other people think and understanding that not everyone will like your work I know in my practice not everyone 
one will like my work and I'm comfortable with that I know that so really just being comfortable you know making the work that you want to do putting it out there and that really you know caring what other people think about it like I said this is more so of the social media realm but it's always good to get those you know peer-to-peer -peer critiques about how to improve your work that's totally fine it's just when you're making decisions based on social media and likes and things like that so the next mistake that I think a lot of artists make is that they typecast themselves and they sort of trap themselves with these labels. I've become more comfortable calling myself an all-around creative mainly because when I sort of approach a problem and try to solve it creatively I don't want to be limited by a medium or a certain platform so being an all-around creative I'm able to sort of figure out what tool is best for this problem and I'm able to solve it so it's not just with a paintbrush it's not just with a spray paint can it could be with technology it could be through dance performance through you know singing it could be anything so when you're sort of not limiting yourself mentally with these labels you're able to open yourself up a lot so you know that also comes with the idea that hey you need to really explore outside of your own comfort zone and when you're able to do that you're able to sort of fill your sort of uh, tool belt with all these different tools to solve a problem creatively so definitely one of the first steps is sort of you know getting outside of the idea of these labels so don't typecast yourself and explore every inch of the art world because that is what you really want to do that is how you're able to just think outside the box and the last mistake that I think a lot of artists make is the idea that if you do great work people will eventually find you and that is not the case that is such not the case you really have to be proactive and creating your own opportunities and creating a space for yourself because just because you do great work doesn't mean anything just because you do great work doesn't mean people will come across you and be amazed about your work you really have to go out there and really find that space that you really want to put your work into and start hammering that space start chipping away at it and finding ways to sort of get your your stuff in there so don't assume that just because you do great work that you put it on maybe one or two platforms that everyone's gonna find it you really have to do the work in meeting and greeting people and sort of making that connection and networking and building relationships and talking to gallery owners and museums so that is what you have to do to get out there it's a long road it's a journey but you're always capable of doing it so hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse like I said this is my latest mural in spray KC make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified whenever I do videos like this and I will see you next time peace